Filters are a great way to help your target audience dive deeper into your data. First, choose the panel number where, or the placeholder where you want your filters to go, and then choose the filter widget. From here, click to add a new filter and then choose your layer. I'm going to choose my wildfires layer and then change the name of the filter to California Fires 2010 through 2016. I'm also going to change the symbol that's associated with this filter so that it shows up as a distinguishing symbol in the filter list, which you'll see later on. Now I need to click on the expressions tab and add a set of expressions. I'm going to leave the setting on that requires all expressions to be true in order to be filtered. And then for the first expression, I'm going to choose the state and set it equal to California. Instead of typing in California, I'm going to click on the gear symbol on the right and choose unique values so that I can choose my exact value from a dropdown. The next expression is going to be the fiscal year, and I'm going to choose the operator of is between and then manually type in the years of 2010 and 2016. Next, I always check the Options tab to see if there's anything else that I'd like to set. For example, if I want to apply the filter by default when the widget is open, I could click this box here. But for this example, I'm going to depend on the user to turn on the filter if they choose to. As you can see, the filter's been added to the panel, and when I click the button to turn the filter on, it turns green, and the map view changes to only show those fires that are represented by the expressions that were configured. You can also see that the bar graph we configured in a previous video dynamically recalculated to represent the data associated with this filter. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please like us below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for content updates.